Hi there, this is Minaho once again with your favorite app series. Man, it has been a long time since I've used an Android device and it's good to be back. Like always, all the download links will be in the description of this video. So let's just jump right into it. I recently did a video on best VPN apps and Opera beta browser was one of them. So Opera recently launched a new VPN in the browser, which automatically turns on when you switch to incognito mode. While most of the free VPN apps for Android are not safe, Opera claims that their new VPN app keeps zero logs. So go check it out, it's free. Notch was one of the reasons I chose Pixel 3 over the Notch City Pixel 3 XL and I'm glad that the S10 and even the View 20 are putting the Notch rate to an end. But most of you who are still stuck with a Notch, well, why not use it creatively? Notch battery sets a battery bar around the Notch. It can be used with any Notch style and most importantly, it works without asking for any special permission as it's just a life wallpaper. Simply go to the app, choose your smartphone notch, adjust the size and set a wallpaper. And that's it. You will now see a sleek battery bar that wraps around the notch. I have to say, this app really kicks the aesthetic of your phone up a notch. Moving on, the next app in the list is for all the 9 years old out there or even younger. Bolo is the latest app from Google that helps kids to read English and Hindi without supervision from their parents. Bolo has a virtual assistant called Dia, which speaks very good Hindi. This is a fat king. Even better than me. I can really see this app becoming popular in India. But do you know what my favorite part is? When I first heard about this application, I thought it's yet another Google app to mine user data. But it's not. The app is completely offline and has no privacy concern. Good job, Google. Anyway, Bolo is not only good for vernacular audience to learn English, but also if you live abroad and want your child to learn Hindi, it's a good app to start. This next app, Live Transcribe, is a real-time translator from Google, made for elderly and the people with hearing loss. It uses Google's Speech-to-Text API to convert your speech into words real-time. I mean, check this out. The app supports many languages and you can even set two languages as your primary and secondary language, which you can switch by tapping on the language button at the bottom. The AI picks the voice well, including punctuation. And just like Bolo, it also comes free without any ads. The only caveat though, it requires an internet connection to work. Yet another app from Google for people with hearing loss. So sound amplifier converts your smartphone into a hearing aid which amplifies the sound around you like when someone is talking to you. And it also removes the background noise in real time. Like that of active noise cancellation in this QC35. Thus making sure you only get relevant information in your ears. To be honest, I wasn't really able to tell any difference since I don't have any hearing issues. But if you have elders around you, maybe they could give it a try. Next up, we have this new app, Cozy. It automatically detects and link contacts based on the name, but you can also manually link profiles with contacts. The only drawback is it works with public profile pictures. And finally, an app that gets you those fancy lens flares that you get with a DSLR. Lens Distortion is a popular iOS app that is now available on Android. Simply open the app, import a photo, add some light flare and then give a final touch. After some finishing touches, it will look something like this. You get free light hits which should be enough for basic editing. Somehow, if you feel it's less, you can always purchase the pro version from the Play Store. So that's pretty much it folks, I hope you got something new. Let me know which is your favorite app in the comment section below and if there is any video that you would like us to cover. That's all for now. It's been our signing off. We'll catch you in the next one.